This is your statewide newscast, Arkansas Today. Welcome back. Susan from Fall Choice joins us today with tips to keep you healthy during the winter months. A lot of sickness going around right now. Flu season peaked late this year, and so we're seeing a lot of kids and adults sick with the flu and, of course, the common cold. But a lot of people want to power through and still work out. That's a big question. Can you still work out when you're sick, or are you doing more harm than good? Well, it depends on your symptoms. If you have a mild cold and those cold-like symptoms of um, congestion, runny nose, sneezing, a minor sore throat, that type of thing, we say above the neck, okay. those type of symptoms, it's probably okay depending on the severity of it. But if you're having symptoms that are from the neck below, chest congestion, hacking cough, upset stomach, or fever, fatigue, those types, you need to just rest it out and get rid of the sickness and then jump back into your routine. Absolutely, that's so important. People are so dedicated to their workouts, to their fitness classes, which is wonderful, but um, there's a time when you just need to back up and say, okay, I need to heal. Yep, and it always seems to hit, you know, you get right into that routine, everything's going good, and then the kids come home with something or whatever, so yeah. But there are some exercises you can do, um, like I said, if, if the symptoms are above the neck and they're fairly mild, you can still do them. Walking is a good one. You can get, um, you can burn as many calories walking for 30 minutes as you would jogging for 15. Oh, so wow. just slowing it down a little bit, a brisk walk, and that'll also kind of help clear your uh, sinuses and mm -hmm. help your breathing. So it'll help alleviate that symptom. And then there's um, the yoga, mm -hmm. Pilates, Tai Chi. Those are much more gentle exercises, but you can still get a good workout without pushing yourself too hard. Wonderful. And um, doing weights in front of the television or, mm -hmm. you know, just at home, the fact that you're doing them at home, you're not at the gym spreading germs. That's a <laughs> good know? point. You can do a uh, high repetition with low weights and still get in a good workout mm -hmm. um, and switch it up a little bit. You know, if you're getting bored with something, you can change it up a little bit to, to whatever you want. And then stretching is, is part of most any exercise, but it's also, it's a good way to get in a workout. It helps with your range of motion mm -hmm. and your circulation. So huh. those are some things that if you're not quite feeling up to snuff, you can still kind of get that workout in and, um, and not, not make yourself sicker. But of course, if you do any of these and you start to feel worse instead of better, you need to kind of slow it down and just, you know, rest and heal. Absolutely. So you can get back to the gym, be better so you exactly. can get back there. These are wonderful tips. Where can people find more information? On qualchoice.com. We've got plenty of tips out there. Okay, qualchoice.com. Great advice. Thank you again Thank for coming you. in. We appreciate, appreciate you. It. And we are back with more Arkansas Today right after this. Stick around.